Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm gonna be taking through my home workout today. I'm in my basement, and I'm just gonna be showing you a pretty easy to do workout that you can do either with uh, weights if you have them to make it a little bit harder, or you can do with just your body weight. Either way, um, you're gonna be going pretty much close to failure for every exercise. Try to get that intensity up a little bit. High volume, we'll be working in the four by 12 to 20 range, just to try to really squeeze as much out of our muscles as we, as we can. There's a lot of good research um, behind high rep training, especially when you don't have a gym to use, where you can still build quite a bit of muscle. I'll be showing you some techniques where you can get the most bang for your buck out of these exercises and hopefully make some serious gains. This is the first exercise where you're doing weighted lunges. Um, you can either do this where you just walk straight and alternate, or you can do them where you stand in place and do them switching each leg. If you want a more dominant um, hamstring and glute workout, what you can do when you go forward is lean forward a little bit. Really works, works your uh, posture, your chain a lot more. So I just stress it as upright as I can because then the next few exercises are going to be pretty intensive for that region. said earlier for this exercise we're going to be working in the four sets of 15 through 20 range for each leg. Um, you can do this weighted or you can do it with the dumbbells. It's going to make it a little bit harder. And after that exercise you're probably going to be feeling pretty uh, pretty exhausted. It kind of does act as cardio too. To a certain point when you get to that high rep range it becomes pretty conditioning as well as muscle intensive. But for this next exercise you need an elevated surface like a chair that you can use. We're going to be doing Bulgarian split squats. One of my favorite exercises to target the hamstrings and glutes. And it'll leave you feeling super wildly afterwards. And if, you, if you're new to this exercise, you're definitely going to get doms after this. To make this exercise even harder towards the bottom part of the position when you're really into that lunge what you can do is really rest there for a second and then explode upwards and you'll feel it a ton and then after this uh four by uh, four by 12 to 15 what you can do is rest a little bit and then prepare for the next set and by now you're probably going to be really feeling it so after the four sets of 12 to 15 we can switch to either a goblet squat with a weighted dumbbell or any other object you can find a backpack or you can switch to a jump squat with dumbbells or something heavy by the end i'll probably drop the dumbbells for the jump squat and just do body weight ones because you'll be, be so dead by then already but right, well, here we go exercises we're gonna be working in the 4 to 12 to 15 rep range just to really squeeze as much as we can out of our quads for these last few exercises For the last exercise, besides some optional calf raises, if you really want to hit those, we're going to be doing single leg group glute bridges. Now, this might look like a girly exercise, but I can promise you, having strong and developed glutes really contributes to your squats, your deadlifts, all of the leg exercises, and can really be beneficial for your long term training. <laughs> 